Hey guys, Mary and the Barbarian here. We may have a long one for you today. I am using, for the first time, Soft Heart Series. We are using Hallows by Barrister and Mann. Pretty cool label art. I like that there's a side label, don't we all? List of ingredients. Four ounces. This one does not have the base on it that I see, other than it says with lanolin and shea butter. So, and this will be the first time using their balm. Normally I don't like to get scented balms if you can get splashes, but I don't think you can get splashes. See now, I know one of the scents is what, cacao, cocoa, whatever. Get me fucking it all up. And it's like vetiver and all this other stuff. This smells really good, kind of a cologne scent, but when you open up the balm, it's more of a chocolate scent. And I was showing some people, look, this is how soft it is. Yeah, pretty soft shit. So we're gonna wet the face. We're gonna get going and Melly Mel busting it back out for this shade. This is kind of a Halloween shade for the heck of it. So, hey guys, I'm kind of like looking at stuff and trying to figure out what I can live without. And I think I'm getting rid of this paladin brush. I really do. So, I'm gonna take it. Now, give it the mantic squeeze. You know, it's the really cool one, 26 millimeter. You know, all the cool etching and stuff on it. So I'm just gonna barely, I don't wanna introduce too much water. I don't think this takes much. I haven't had experience with it yet, but we'll just do a little. And see how it goes. Okay, a little bit more chocolatey. Better. I was gonna have to decide if I really like this scent. Dip the tips, hang it down a little bit more. I haven't face lathered that much lately, but this is a face lathering brush in my opinion. Just going to work it up a little. Two pass shade today with the Tradere. Tradere. Whatever you want to call the damn thing. So, dip the tips. I don't know. We'll see. Now that I'm lathering it, the scent's not as good. Could be me. Don't know. I think it's supposed to be reminiscent of like a. Graveyard, like a city graveyard in like Boston or something. So, sorry, I gotta get that off the handle because that's some slick shit and it's making the handle slick. Take it, dry it, dry my hand. All right, I'm just gonna keep painting it in. Like I should have done to begin with. We're having fun with it. It's like a chocolatey, vetiver, oak moss, cedary. I can't remember all the notes, but like it's a very dark scent with like a chocolatey smell, in my opinion. Could be wrong. Other people could get other things. I've heard people say it smells like ass. I don't know. It doesn't smell like ass, but I'm not real familiar with walking around smelling people's ass. I'm not a dog, so, but you know, it isn't totally bad. I don't know if I'm keeping it, but it's not an awful scent. And it's good to get to use the soft tart. Guys, I think I could keep putting more water in this. But we're not going to make this a long video because we're like five minutes in. And five minutes in. So if you're coming in, you're going to stop at the shave. Johan's raffle, guys. We're going to take a day off from Pink Boy's raffle. 
We're going to push Johan's raffle um, for the Michael J. Fox Foundation on Parkinson's research for a cure. And I'll link his video with like the prizes and stuff at the bottom. Just trying different things out with it, seeing how it feels. Definitely use more water. Definitely, definitely use more water. All right. Little water addition to the face. If we add the water now, I don't have to keep dipping later. Just dip the tips. It's all in the tips. All in the tips. Alright. Get it on a little thin because we don't care. It's all about slickness today. I don't know. It's growing on me. Y'all looking to comment for tomorrow? When CDB comments, I told you, not a scent for me. So, he's not the one that said it smelled like ass, so don't start putting words in his mouth, people. So. I just talked to him on the wall, on the phone a while today. That's right. Hmm. Hmm, go. Wonder if I had an ingrown there. Here we go. Mm. I always seem to nick myself right there. It's like I let the skin curl or not enough skin stretching. If that makes any sense. Didn't I get one there the other day? All right. That feels good. Nice slickness, guys. Did enjoy the soap. Still don't know where I stand on the set. So, we're gonna balm it up for sure. Try to get some of the slickness off. Man. Sometimes it's just slicker than shit, guys. Like where it tends to pull off around the jaw lines and stuff when you're rinsing.
and get it all out. Get the lather out of the ear from behind the ear. See how quickly that closes up. I'm not going to use any aloe or styptic bougie towel. I'm going to let that dry. I really hate that some water got in it like that. Should have gone for a drier load on the brush. But we're going to let it air out and it'll be okay. So the aftershave balm. I don't know how much I should use. Yeah, this is more chocolatey. What's it remind me of? Okay, guys. Go ahead and make your jokes. It reminds me of Spencer's. Yeah, you heard me. Spencer's. When I was in high school, there's something about it or Hot Topic. So it is Hot Topic. It reminds me of Hot Topic. Got it. Like when I smell that just now, that's what it makes me think of. I don't know why, but it makes me think of freaking Hot Topic. Which makes sense, because it's supposed to be a Halloween scent and like... <sighs> yeah. Don't need to explain it. You guys get it. So, don't know if I'm sold on the scent. It's not as awful as I've heard. Really dig the label art. Like, that is some wicked looking shit. It's reflective. You get a really cool sticker that's not in here with me. Soft Heart Series was a success. We'll see how the balm goes. Trying it out for the first time as well. And of course we use the Paladin. Anybody interested? Hit me up. You know where to find me. 26 millimeter. And thank you Melly Mel, Tradere. Don't, don't ask me what blade's in it right now because I can't remember. You can probably go back to the last time I used it and it'll tell you. So, but all in all, nice good feeling shape. Sorry, there was some soap on the back. I couldn't stand looking at it on there and I want to dry it off in a second. So guys, um, thank you for watching and I will see you again tomorrow. Don't forget, I know we have a lot of raffles and a lot of charity stuff going on guys, but if you got $5 to drop somewhere, go to Johan's, buy a $5 raffle ticket. I don't expect people to do a lot in our raffle either. You know, just $5, whatever you can afford and hopefully you get something good out of it other than just helping somebody. Um, anyways, see y'all again tomorrow, guys. Have a good one.